Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Hey, today I'm going to show you how I'm getting ready to decorate my bay window using the blue and white theme. I've decided to sell out to. <laughs> so, stay tuned and I'll explain what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to show you what I've already done this far. Um, I decided not to show you this just because there was a lot going on in the house when I put this together and I was hurried. I was getting ready to go to my daughter's birthday party. So I put all this together and now we're going to finish decorating it. So let me show you what I've done here. Online on the Amazon, I ordered this foam. Okay. And then I found some blue fabric that I've already had around the house that I bought from like the thrift store. Then I took the Gorilla Tape and I wrapped it around it and just taped it. This way it stays on here, but yet I can change it if I ever desire to do a different fabric. And it was inexpensive, that whole chunk of, um, uh, foam I think was like around 30 bucks something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was definitely Really worth it for the window seat here and I used to have right along right here I just had a weird strip of carpet that the previous owners put there They didn't even carpet the whole entire seat that was weird. Just as up front. I thought, why would you do that? That was the weirdest thing ever. So anyway, then I have this crate cart um, box. It was actually one that was left here. And I thought, you know, it's got some interesting shape to it. It just kind of has a weird cottage, I guess, type of something that I could do with it. I didn't quite know what it was or what I'm going to do with it, but I thought, I'm going to use it in this window. And I'll show you in a little bit what I'm going to do with it. I think it's really cool. Then, I had this beautiful pot right here. I love it. And I decided to do a Liz a trick that she used to do from Traditions uh of the seasons i think tr traditions of the seasons liz made what was called the blooming lamp <laughs> and i decided in my case i needed the blooming lamp so i stuck a lamp which i got at the thrift store i paid 5.99 for that and i think it's an amazing shape it looks really nice it goes with that pot, urn, whatever that is considered. And what I have done there is just filled it with all kinds of greenery and little purple and white flowers. This time of year, I'm not wanting to get too carried away. It's only February and we don't get flowers till late April <laughs> around here, you know, or middle April anyway. And so I just kept it simple with the coloring. To me, it looks very cottage. And I think sitting in place right here, it looks really, really pretty. So this is the bones to this window. Let's continue from here. Okay, what I added in there is some reading books, like the Bible and just some other books and an antique book for the ambiance and, and this book right here, Fighting Unseen Enemies, Fantasy or Is It? by Ann F. Williams. If you get a chance, look this book up and read it. It is so good good. It's Christian and it's a love story, but also kind of fighting, um, well, I don't want to give it away too much, but yeah, it's fighting the evil forces in the world. And yet it's a beautiful love story at the same time. Take a time to look up Anne F. Williams, Fighting Unseen Enemies, Fantasy or Is It? Yeah, I'll show you the cover of it, in fact. 
check it out. Here's what it looks like. And it's a whole book series. And it is good. Now, it is a Christian book. Just letting you all know. And uh, it is so totally worth your time to get this book. I don't read a whole lot, but boy, is that one an amazing book. So check it out. So you can see, it's hard to see it right now, but I put a little candle in there, which it's lit up, but not really. The battery is pretty well gone. I need to put a new battery in it. Just for ambiance, it says faith. Put some nice books in there. And at night, if you want to get in this window and just relax, it's a reading nook that I'm creating. You have a light, but if you want to sit in here during the day, you have the morning natural light, which is amazing. All right, next I'm starting to add pillows for comfort. And I just have simple kind of a grayish tan, kind of sort of taupeish pillows that I'm putting in there as a base to start layering all kinds of pillows. All right, next I have added these little pillows. Now these ones are actually bed pillows, shams, in this beautiful, gorgeous blue and white. See how I'm just pulling it all together with the blue base here. And I think they work very well. Now granted, I've just blocked some of the light that was just shining all over this beautiful blue, but it's starting to take shape and look very interesting. All right, next I have added these other blue and white pillows. They're just pillow shams that I got off of Amazon. And the set of two was like 1670 or something like that. And they absolutely just coordinate with those other pillows and they just make for a beautiful look. I'm really loving how this is starting to look. Next, I have put in this geometric shape, dark blue shape to go along with it. I guess it's a Moroccan shape, but I just think it's classic and a beautiful shape. And I've just added it to the seat. I am sorry about the lighting. It is awfully dark now in here. I thought, boy, this would be perfect lighting, but it appears to be rather dark instead of you seeing the absolute beauty of it. But there you go. I absolutely love how this window seat has turned out. What do you think? It's very calming and very beautiful. All right, next, just to make it even more cozier, all I simply did was just added a little mug or your favorite tea cup or coffee mug and you could just sit here and enjoy having a beverage as you sit in the window and read or just relax and look out the window you know it is a beautiful day today for Colorado it's really nice right now anyway what do you think I think it really has a very 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 beautiful look. I wasn't sure how I was going to end up decorating this house and I know last time I put a video up I said I was going to just maybe touch on a little bit of blue and white but the more I thought about it the more I thought I'm just loving that look. I'm just going to run with it. And the thing is, I'm doing it with pillows and accessories. So when I get tired of it, which I do at times, I'll be able to change it out to whatever I want. And seasonally, since these are just zipper pillows, or cases, I can buy for the holidays different ones that'll fit on here. And I can just change them out and change it completely. The um, material I used for the covering the the um, yeah, foam, that can be changed out to different colors if I so desired as well. So I'm liking how versatile I can actually make this window. And I know I haven't shown much since uh, uh, 
you know, I showed how I did all of this. I have added more books just to bring more in that English cottage flair because books seems to be a thing that is really decorated a lot with. And I don't know what we're going to do with these walls. I mean, I know what I'm going to do with the walls, you know, but all this either has to be sanded or I'm going to have to put new wood over it or I'm going to have to spackle it. And we just haven't gotten to it anyway. The upper half is going to be painted kind of a taupey tan beige color, very pale in color. And the bottom half, I'm actually wanting to do wainscoting, and I'm going to do that in the white. And so the window, I think I will also paint white to match my cabinetry here. I bet that's in time. And underneath, I mean, see, what a mess. I mean, it just is awful. And so underneath, what I think I'm going to do, which I've actually ordered, I don't know if it's going to work, so I'll have to show it to you if it does, but I ordered some realistic-looking bookcases that has all kinds of books in it. And I figured from the edge there down and over on the other side where there's the edge down, I'm going to fill that in with what it looks like books. So it just kind of looks like a total reading nook. That has not come yet. That probably won't even come till next week sometime. But I'm hoping I can make it look really good. And I think, what do you guys think? I mean, my cabinets over here are all white. And everything else in the house is going to be white. Wayne, white wainscoting and chair rail and all that. I am going to definitely be doing all that in white. But what do you think of leaving the window wood? I know a lot of you wood lovers are going to say, oh, don't paint the wood. I'm not personally that much of a wood lover. I mean, I like it in furniture, but it's just 1950s wood. It's nothing like it's amazing, though it's a beautiful color wood. But what do you think if that was just left um, the wood coloring and everything else, you know, all the trim and everything, everything else being white? Would it look unfinished like we forgot to finish painting? this area or does it just look like it's something more unique and stands out alone and next to it I have there's my front door and I just put a simple tin that I got from the thrift store I think I pay like two dollars and fifty cents for it and I just put some um, purple flowers in it just to make it stand up and I have a, a thing over here in the corner that I just stacking canes in you know that's simple and of course you've seen over there which I haven't finished decorating that but that's where our, our all our coats go because I don't have a coat closet in the house I did but I've taken it out for other purposes so now I don't have a coat closet <laughs> and up above it I just simply put this beautiful scroll work and I still love how that looks because my coloring really is uh, Black and white, tanny beige, kind of taupey tanny beige in the lighter shade in the very muted down. And of course, blue and the white. And so that's how I am pulling everything together. So what do y'all think of this? Is this going in a direction that, I, at least for me, I'm loving this. I think it looks so inviting. So, I'm just happy you guys could come along and look at what I've been accomplishing. You know, I've got my fireplace right here and the dog bed, which I've ordered another one because my dogs tend to fight over this one. So, I'm going to have two of them, I hope, soon. Those are live plants that I've added fake greenery around and I've balanced them out. They were Tony's from his house, the, the tall ones. I don't know what they're personally called. My mother-in-law always called them mother-in-law tongue. <laughs> I don't know what their real name is. But anyway, so I have two of those, one on each side of my fireplace, just flanking it. 
in similar style pots, which I think is very, very pretty. It's got that little bit of an old world, yet it still blends nicely with English because they love their flowers and their plants. And I don't know that I'm selling out completely to English Cottage, but I am making it an American version of an English cottage. Let's put it that way. I've simply hung different plates on the wall over there, and I just love how inviting that is starting to feel. I'm going to show you all a nighttime ver version of this, what it looks like at night, how pretty it is. It won't have the teacup, but it's going to have the same look here. So hope you enjoy the nighttime version next. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the transformation that I'm beginning to do around the house with little things that I finally can get to doing. I love it. I've got inspired. For the longest time, I was not inspired around here. I was just really basically depressed. And now I'm beginning to see some things happening around the house here. Uh, Tony and I have been working in the guest bathroom, which is the only bathroom we're using right now, and fixing the shower. I um, mean, neither one of us are professionals, and you can tell it's not a professional job, but for us, I think we've done a pretty good job of it. So that's probably the next video that will be coming up soon, showing how we're doing that. We're still in the process of it. But I thought, well, in between, I'm going to show you what I've done here. I hope you like this. So again, thanks for watching. You all take care and God bless and happy decorating.